Hello, and welcome to my studio. Welcome to my textile studio. Welcome to my studio. Let me tell you a little bit about my sculpture. Uh, I carve stone and it's, I carve in the abstract style. Um, <clears throat> I do some bronze limited editions from some of the stone sculptures I carve. Um, and I um, try to always put in a Mobius edge in my sculpture. So my sculpture will have a hole in it. And like this little piece here, if you start tracing the edge, you follow the edge around and through the sculpture and end up coming back to where you started. Colors are everything in how these are designed. I spend a lot of time creating a space on a piece of paper. I do a lot of drawing. And then I'll spend maybe a week trying to figure out what the colors will be and where they're placed. Because color in these, these small or large sculptural pieces are the story. You know, how they move and where they're located. Whether they're a single piece that's all black with one red piece or like in Act 3, it's as if you're watching a play. The play opens, there's one flash of color. Act 2 is always the most important act in a play, so that's full of lots of colors. And Act 3 pretty much settles the story, and it's all one solid color. And if you look at that mobile, you find that's how that story lays out. I want to show you um, what my work is about. So my latest work has to do with trees. Um, trees are uh, communicating with each other. Okay, So they connect through tiny uh, root tips and uh, they share nutrients with each other. They also uh, communicate uh, in times of distress like drought um, and so forth. Um, but I also want to show that uh, nature can be really healing and how as humans are connected to trees. この生態園でマイケルさんは週に一度座禅を組みます。座禅をして静かな時間を持った後にそのこの自然のね。あの、姿、まあこういう花とかあこういう状態見ると、なんか素直に筆がね、こうスーッと行くような気がするんだけどどうです yes, I I think so. The the sumie and the brush, uh there's a very direct uh expression of the heart of the spirit. You must be very honest and sincere in the painting. Welcome to my studio. I'm Renee Diane Whitehead. And I carve stone on using all kinds of tools. And I, this particular stone is going to be called Fire Dance because it has this feeling of fire and it is a very beautiful orange stone. But also because as a series, I've been exploring the way that fire and our feelings and sense of fire dance between our sense of joy, our sense of warmth and comfort, you know, creativity and destruction, all of those things. And so this series is my way of exploring all of this. And I am so glad that I am able to show you that this stone from its beginnings as a very large rock to this point has all been done right here. Hi, I'm Merritt, and I want to show you the pieces that I'm working on for Arts in the Park. There are different types of vases and candlestick holders. They're all in a different process of being finished right now, and actually none of these are completely done. 
the ones that look gray have not been through the, the kiln one time yet. So they're gonna go through the kiln and once they come out, they'll turn white and I'll glaze them. Now this pretty green color that a lot of people have commented that they like so much is actually not going to stay green. It's just a clear glaze. So it's going to turn into a white object once it comes out of the kiln again. So I'm very excited to make these pieces and I hope that uh, you'll enjoy looking at them. My art has a lot of interesting um, push and pull to it. And there's, there's a give and take, a push and pull, a dichotomy to it that just is really fascinating to me. It's a very modern material called polymer clay. And essentially it's a very soft clay that bakes in an ordinary oven. And I take um, two or three different colors of the clay and make a sandwich um, alternating them and stack them up and then stretch them out. And as I stretch them, the layers attenuate and become very, very thin. But when I fold it again or cut and stack it, the number of layers doubles. And after I do that three or four or five times, I get a block of material with a grain through it that looks like ivory or bone. And I take a chunk of that and actually start forming um, the horses or the bears or the birds. To view and buy the work of these artists, as well as more than 150 other artists, poets, and musicians, visit virtualartinthepark.org.